for the 14th day of Christmas, we are going to be covering old Frog FTK. Now, I know we've kind of steered away a little bit from doing some more recent um, deck profiles. Um, like I said, I do have a list. Um, this one was actually requested a few times yesterday, and to save myself time, um, I already had my old frame built, so I figured I'd go ahead and profile it and share it with you guys. Um, if you guys don't know, I believe this was... Uh, the national format, so June, July, and August of 2010 for Gen Con that year. And I remember playing the YCS in Gen Con against Frog FTK. Um, hell, if you had 40 bucks, um, you could build the deck. I remember buying the decks from people at my locals for like 10 bucks a piece and selling them on eBay for 40s. Easiest, you know, 20 bucks you could ever gain in the course of the game's history, in my opinion, to have a really broken deck that I believe had a 70% FTK win rate, which was absolutely absurd. So, if you guys look back on Cordero's channel, he has the world's videos uh, from that particular year. And you guys can actually see how devastating this deck was. Um, I believe Japan didn't even know about this deck. Um, I believe when uh, the Japan representatives from Konami were watching the matches of Worlds, they were just dumbfounded by what they were seeing uh, from Frog FTK. And that was actually a good sign uh, for the game's development because a deck existed um, that konami japan had never seen um and it proves that you know the tcg side is actually capable of innovating some things so for the 14th day of christmas contest uh we're gonna do 20 dollars store credit to my site um you guys get the chance to get a bunch of singles and stuff that you need everything's relatively priced i mean it's free either way i'm just doing store credit over the course of a few days uh, to kind of let people gauge um, to get the things that they need for their card pools and things like that. So, please, uh, like, favorite, and comment on this video and subscribe to the channels in the description as well. You know, some of you don't play Vanguard, but, I mean, please support the channels. Um, they are stuff that I do as well, so, please. So, the deck profile should be available on Dropbox for you guys to download and annoy your opponents with. So, um, the general combo, for those of you that are like, well, how does this deck work? Well, there's a few things here. Uh, Substitute is your, pretty much your go-to guy. Um, you contribute one monster, especially the one frog monster from your deck. So typically, as long as you have another monster and Substitute, uh, you tribute the monster, thin out your entire deck. Um, you're going to stop along the way to Swap Frog. Swap Frog says when it's summoned, um, send... A guy from your deck to the graveyard. Uh, typically you're gonna drop Run and Toten. You cannot drop your fish board luster. He is a fish, not an aqua monster. But you're gonna do Run and Toten um, because at the end of it when you have 19, 18 frogs in grave um, or 20, you're gonna go Mass Driver, Mass Driver, tribute Run and Toten, remove another frog, bring back Run and Toten, uh, do it infinite amounts of times. 400 times 20 is the magical number of 8,000. Um, typically, if your opponent had more life points, you'd have to do some more difficult stuff. Um, if your opponent's like massive back row, Unifrog comes into play. Uh, this card can attack your opponent directly. Uh, when this card successfully attacks, uh, if you control another frog monster, you can destroy a spell or trap card. Very, very, very good uh, for your general combo ability. Um, also, going back to the substitute thing, there's actually some combos that you could do if your opponent was, or if you were in a bad situation, because of course you need to draw into these cards. Um, typically, you, as you're going with Substitute, you can bring back Ronin Totem um, to bring out additional monsters. Typically, you can bring out a uh, Poison Draw Frog and then do Swap Frog, because Swap Frog can also send from the field to the graveyard, so you can send Poison Draw Frog to the grave to draw a card. Uh, typically, when you're at the end of your deck, um, you need to make sure that you can draw into things. And Salvage is also there for a general combo piece uh, to ensure that you can get to your pieces a little bit faster. So, do keep in mind that I believe this was around Star Strike Blast. Um, I just remember some pretty crazy combos and stuff being done um, at that time. So, we have two BLs frog, one submarine frog, triple swap frog, triple flip flop frog, triple unifrog, two Ronin Toten, triple dupe dupe, triple poison draw frog, two substitute. Uh, one Fish War Gloucester. This is typically just for your Synchro plays. There was also another monster that you could beam out of the deck off of one for one uh, and set up for additional monster plays. 
Um, but typically one for one was resolved for substitute. Uh, of course, triple treeborn frog, uh, your spell cards, uh, one for one, triple moray of greed, card destruction, triple salvage, triple hand destruction, and of course, triple mass driver, which was your win time. Um, in a format where solemn judgment was at a much bigger number, um, people would actually attempt to solemn judgment mass driver. And I still kind of laugh, having played through this format, a lot of people would always waste their judgments on the mass driver, and I'm just like, guy, what are you doing? And they're like, well, we thought it was a good play. Um, maybe, I don't know, I really just don't think it was. Uh, the extra deck is pretty much up to you, um, how you want to do it. Uh, for testing purposes, I had triple formula, cataster, formula. Of course, Brionic, Goyo, Ancient Fairy, Black Rose, Dark Strike Fighter, Stardust, Colossal Fighter, Scrap Dragon, Red Dragon, and Trishula. Um, like I said, it's a really fun deck um, for those of you that survived the format. I can understand why a lot of you guys would definitely hate playing against this deck, um, and especially having the Scythera deck profile on it. But to those of you that haven't played through older formats, please do enjoy. Um, give this deck a shot. Leave a comment down below uh, to get entered into the Christmas contest, and Merry Christmas you out! I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please thumbs up this video to show your support, and please check out Vancol40 for Cardfight Vanguard, Mcole Games for miscellaneous trading card games, and No Limit Gaming for a brand new series of Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Thanks for watching!